All right, in this tutorial, I want to show you how we can go about creating probably the favorite feature of everyone on a roller coaster ride, the loop the loop. Now, to start off, we're going to change this segment of track that we created before from a transport back to um, regular track, and we can press X on the keyboard to execute that. And we need to um, create this segment so that it's really nice and straight. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit here until I can see my grid lines. And I'm going to drag this vertex point out to the side a little bit. So I've got a really straight segment of track through there. And to help me, I'm even going to go edit, make straight. Okay, now that I've got that straight segment, I need to break it up. Um, and I'm going to use split up segment once and then twice. Now with those two vertex points, I'm now going to change my view and go to a left view. And I'm going to lift them up a little. And this is where we start to manipulate um, the loop the loop. So I'm going to twist the handles down and drag it across to one side and twist the handles down and drag it across to the other side. And now we've basically got our loop the loop. All we have to do now is to stretch out these control handles. Until we're satisfied that we've got a nice steady curve to our loop the loop. One of the things that you'll notice that I try to do is I try and keep the amount of handle even on both the top and then on the bottom. And then I try and keep it the same on both sides. And that helps to keep it a nice even curve. So if I hold down the control key, you can see that they're pretty much the same size. Anyway, you might want to fiddle around with that until you're satisfied with what you've got. Okay, I'm pretty um, satisfied with that. The final change we need to make, though, is if you go to the top view, at the moment, they're crossing over perfectly on top of each other. So let's go to our um, side view again, our left view, and select this vertex point, this piece of track, back to our top view, and this vertex point. And if we drag those across, we've now got a loop the loop that doesn't actually come back on itself. All right, let's have a go at writing um, this feature now. Um, I'm a little bit concerned, I should say, before we write it, that as we go around and we come up to the loop the loop, we might actually run out um, of speed and may not be able to make it up the other side, but we'll give it a go. Let's see what happens. Okay. All right. I'll press uh, the plus key on my number pad just to speed it up a little bit slowing it down and pressing pause so you can now see the loop the loop that we've just created uh, this is a bit of a worry Okay, so we're not going to make it around the other side. So, needs a fair bit of work, this one. Um, but I'm sure you get the basic idea. If I press escape, we'll go back and make some changes here. Um, it often comes down to trial and error to get this to actually work correctly. One of the things that you need to be aware of, if I just zoom in, is that sometimes when we create a loop the loop, um, we can get some twisting in our track. So if I grab this hand a little, little bit, can you see how the track's now twisted over? Um, and it's meaning, it's meant that as we come around, instead of us staying on the inside, 
the roller coaster is being twisted out so that it goes on the outside and then it twists back in on the inside. Now if you like that you can leave it that way but that's not the way a normal loop the loop um, would go and you might just need to twist the handles here to change that and sometimes that isn't enough and you need to go up here and that affects how much roll the roller coaster track has. So to turn the track completely the opposite way, that's 180 degrees, and so you'd need to press minus 45 four times. One, two, three, four, and you can see that's um, fixed that problem for me. All right, let's go back and um, change what we did before. I'm going to put in a segment of track through here. called transport and let's speed this section up to 100 and oh, I think we had 120 before let's put that in and we'll increase it up to 8.8 G's and we need to make some changes here too so 120 and up to 0.8 and OK so let's zoom out and check that we're happy with all that. I noticed that there's a little bit of a kink in the roller coaster loop the loop before, so it could be handy just to zoom in. Uh, that's still um, a long way apart, so we could grab that vertex point and just drag it across a little bit more just to make that loop the loop a little bit smoother. Okay. Anyway, I'm sure you can fiddle around with those settings. Let's give it a quick ride. Okay. I'll uh, press plus on the number pad. Speed it up. Slow it down, and we've come down, we've slowed down for around the corner. Now we're speeding up again. Through the loop, the loop, through the tunnel. Oh, and our brakes aren't quite good enough, so we might have to make some changes there. Anyway, I'm sure you get the basic idea about how you can create and loop the loop. There are some other ways of creating loop-the-loops, uh, but I think that is the best um, way that I'm aware of. All right, that's the end of this tutorial.